The so-called new firm both determined to get three points to get out the gloom area of the league table. And Aberdeen threatening. Billy Dodge with the early strike, but no trouble there to Sieb Dijkstra. At the other end, a chance. This time, the defensive wall stood up to Gary McSwagan. New boy Julian Alsford in on Leighton, but no trouble for him. Alsford here though, lost out to Billy Dodds. He ran in on goal, Dicer saved, and Morris Malpass there to clear from Windass. Still goalless as Aberdeen pressed forward, this time Jess, with a shot well off target. Still the Dons kept up the pressure, and there Dolan lost out to Windass, and Jamie Buchan with the strike, but Dijkstra got there. And Dijkstra, the busier goalkeeper of the two, Jess going so close again. Jess in this his second spell with the Dons, and so keen to get them up that table. Into the second half, and a slip up there by Siggy Jonsson and Dave Bowman. And all of a sudden, Windass is clear, but the shot, a weak one. Substitute Rousen on the charge now. And watch out for a good shot from Dodds. That the closest anyone had come to scoring. Still it remained goalless. Windass picked out Stephen Glass. And there was Malpass on the line to clear it. So Malpass a hero there, but was he more of a villain here? Aberdeen fans on their feet, insisting he'd handled it. In replay, judge for yourself. Maybe Windass handled as well. It merited a booking in Mike McCurry's eyes. Jamie Buckin then with another strike for the Dons. Dijkstra couldn't hold it. Jonsson cleared. And Buchan again, this time picking out Glass. And a cracking shot. And a good save from Dijkstra. Still it was nil-nil. And Tommy McLean preferred the action to be up the other end. And substitute Steve Thompson nearly won it for United. The header, and it's headed off the line by Buchan. And nil-nil, this one finished. Well, in the second half, we had a few half chances and uh, Seb Dykstra had a good save and Morris cleared one off the line. But, no, we worked hard enough and I can't fault the players' effort. Sometimes um, it's not about effort, it's a wee bit of brain. And I felt we, we, we didn't really try and pass in certain areas that, uh, as well as what we could have. Some supporters, certainly Aberdeen supporters, will say maybe you were lucky to stay on with it, with what looked like a handball incident. How did you see it? Well, I played 90 minutes, so we'll just go on to the next one. <laughs> and the next game, it, when it, whenever it comes along, obviously three points, Morris, crucially important for United right now. Yeah, it's important we get three points because of the, the relegation thing, uh, the playoff thing. But it's also important we start playing because we've really shortchanged the fans this season. Well, Morris Malpass, at least he's honest there, Charlie. You, you saw that there for the first time. What did you think of it? I thought it was a yellow card. I thought it looked as if there was other defenders covering. So I don't think it, it was right to, to even think about a red card. And Kevin, you, you know what it's like, the frustration at this time of the season. You're desperate for points. These two sides, quite uncharacteristically, are desperate for points. Yeah, that's right. I think uh, with us winning yesterday, it puts a wee bit of pressure on the teams up above us. You know, we're, we're uh, gaining, gaining uh, points on them and with them not winning they'll be under a wee bit of pressure I would think. And is there a general feeling of disbelief that these two are where they are, United and Aberdeen? Yeah that's right, they're, they're built as a new firm and uh, to be fair I don't, I don't think any of the two managers will be pleased with what their uh, performance like this season, you know, uh, they're both down near the relegation, I think two teams like Aberdeen and Dundee United should be up near the top. Yeah it's still in the melting pot Charlie isn't it? The two teams haven't been convincing at all and I, again I would go back to Aberdeen Rangers next Sunday if Hibs win. A vital game for Aberdeen, they might just feel the pressure as much as 